Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At Aforevo, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcn at aforevo.com. There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm, I'm burning. So much to see. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. Come on, who will build the town? Who will win the sword? For the land is true. I say, who will build the town? Interrupted with that annoying knock. Oh, I'm sorry, my princess. But the king invites you for breakfast and he's waiting with the rest. Then they should eat without me. No, my princess. I was asked to come get you, so I, I can't go back there without bringing you. Are you gonna carry me there or force me there? Please, my princess. I haven't taken my bath yet, as you can see. The king gave you just two minutes to join them at the dining. Unless you want to disobey the king. So, what's it going to be? Why don't you just let me give you a warm bath immediately? And what are you waiting for? Take me to the bathroom already. Okay. You shall remain standing for breakfast this morning since you said it's coming late. My princess! Thanks for breakfast, father. Mm. Thanks for breakfast, father. Small. You really want to do this? I am sure. And there's no going back this time. The king of the Zodo Kingdom must die today. That's it. I'm sending her out of this palace immediately. I can't brook her insolence anymore. You can't send her out of this palace. She's your daughter. That's your blood. I don't care. Alright, I've told you her quick character ever since her mother died, and you know I'm patient with her. Of course I know that, Edward, but she's just a child. Why does she blame me for her mother's death? I did everything for Rosalind before she died. God knows I tried. I tried! I know! But Edward, she is just a child. She would need time to get over this, okay? You just need to be patient with her, please. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. Last night, and I don't teacher isn't here yet. I don't think he'll still come today. Of course, he'll come. Or Dad will be happy with him. Kara is beginning to annoy me. 
And trust me, she's sad. Oh, we sad. I hate the way she behaves. I don't even know why that professor is doing this drama with her. The story is about her mother, and she needs to be in it. My annoyance is with her drama teacher. He's always late. It's been eight years since your mother passed away. And here you are, still wallowing in self pity and self denial. What a shame. The world has moved on. And I have moved on too. Because there's nothing I could have done to bring her back. And that's why I got another wife, so that you'd be alone in this big palace. I don't know what has been missing you up, and you refuse to tell me. But I urge you to please participate in this drama of How I Met Your Mother, which we're going to perform before the villagers in the seventh year of the death. The drama teacher is here, and if you care and respect your mother's spirit, then you join your sisters and I at the rehearsal room. Just stand out up there, yeah? Just like that! Yes? He didn't tell him, he didn't tell him, he didn't tell him, and he didn't. He just suddenly walks in here and told me to stand down! Huh?
Because I, I told him because the last thing I want is a mistake. Start your highness. You are late again, sir. Your highness, the vehicle I entered, I think the driver was drunk. So he, he, he. Can you be a little more constructive with your repeated lies and excuses? I am sorry, your highness. Say I am sorry one more time and you'll be unemployed. I'm taking the drama very seriously. Are you? Yes, my dear. Then prove that to me with the punctuality from tomorrow henceforth. Set. Set, your highness. <coughs> So let's be. Um, where is uh, Princess Karen? I don't think she's coming. Let's start. Oh. Where's my script? So let's begin. Remember, this is not opera or some kind of talk show. It's bringing the past to the present, revealing how it all started with. So if you put yourself in the character and the way people feel or the young prince felt before he got his first love. His first and his only love. Kara, Kara, let's not do this here, please. Okay. You're me for the theatrics and this is the only way it's gonna happen. I will act with you and only you on that stage and that's the way it's only gonna make sense to me. Kara, 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 please. No, not just a father's request that we should act on the same stage with that spoiled brat. Hey, is your okay? Of course, she's so spoiled. I wonder why dad tolerates her excesses. Because she's our big sister. Big sister, my foot. She, I mean, she's so childish and impish for my liking. I hate her. Don't interpret the character. She'll change, don't you think so? How can she change when she can't even appreciate her effort of making her late mother's eight years remembrance a spectacular one? Look, if she doesn't want us to act, fine. But that's not what dad wants. At this moment, I don't care anymore what dad wants. I'm tired of her feeling so special all the time. Martins, I'm fine. What? Wait, is this a joke or something? Stop annoying me with his options, all right? It's not going to work. It's her mother and she ought to be in there. Why would you do this one thing you ask of her? Take it easy on yourself, your highness. She's only a child. Okay, maybe we should... Before you annoy me with your next statement, all right? You do whatever it takes to put her in that drama. Are you listening to me? Your highness, I... I should I find someone to do the job? I can replace you. I'm going out. Okay, here we go. I had to see my brother, but I'll be back before you know it. Is everything alright? <clears throat> Get, Get the job done. I was trying Get the job done.
Tom đi Oh, could be my pieces And next to you Should I go ahead? Before your mother died, she made me promise her that I was going to look after you in the palace. And I intend to keep that promise. But you, my princess, are not making things easy for me by shutting me out of your life. I want to come in. I want to know what is bothering you. You know, every time I look into your eyes, all I see is a set of sad eyes. Please, talk to me as a friend. Please. He didn't show my mom enough love, cause she wouldn't have died. He tried his best. Stop defending him. You asked to come in and this is me letting you in. I hate my father for what he did. He cared less about my mom while she was sick. He was busy thinking of taking up another wife. Oh no, my princess. He got married after your mom passed on. How long was it? Was it even up to a year? You don't understand, my princess. I mean, it is not easy for a man like him to sleep without a wife. He's a king. If he truly loved my mom like you were meant to believe, why didn't he wait before taking up another wife? He celebrates her remembrance every year. Do you know how much that costs him? That's to show that she's still in his heart. Oh, I get it. You don't want sisters. Exactly. I don't. I don't want sisters. I didn't ask for it, but... He has already made the decision, and for that reason, I hate my father. Oh no, my princess. Don't hate him. Okay? So, Osmond has decided to take down my husband. I think it's time to get my husband and the police involved. Leave the police and your husband at the place. Martins, do you know what would have happened if Osmond had succeeded with his plan? I would be a widow by now. But I should stop that from happening. I think it's high time you had a chat with Osmond. Had a chat with Osmond? There's nothing to say to that man if not go straight to hell. Let me talk to him first. You can't obviously get rid of someone like Osmond. You have to be very careful, Says. And I don't want your husband to be part of this or to be involved in this. Oh, so I'm supposed to sit down, hold my arms and watch my husband get murdered. Is that what you're saying? Just be calm. Like I said, let me talk to him first. Then you will talk to him. Why are you going through my wife's things? Answer me! Your eyes? I'm just...
What did you tell her to do? I don't understand. Answer me! What did you ask her to do in my bedroom? Father, please let her go, please. Now you listen to me. This is your chance to tell me exactly what you're doing through my wife's things. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I was just acting at the pleasure of a princess. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. What were you looking for? Charm or any magical thing that made me forget no. about my mom so quickly that she went to set up for another wife. I sent her on that raid. So you think my wife used charm on me? How petty are you with your thoughts? Now listen to me. You would leave this palace immediately. Your services are no longer required. I thought you refused to that order. I was just doing it to please you, my princess. Now I've lost my job. I've lost everything. Excuse me, my princess. I guess you were expecting this visit. I hope you locked that door. Of course I did. I received your package. You should have killed it. I am a captain of my own ship. I don't see it with snitches and bitches. He got what he deserved. Now you have my attention. Let's talk. My queen, you're back. Why is your brother summoning you? Like, what's the emergency? I think we still have a Muslim problem. What? I thought we buried that after he got settled. Well, he's making a fresh demand. But I'll get the details later. Wait, what are you doing? I'm putting an end to this once and for all. Alright, I'm tired of these threats and affronts. I am a king, I should be threatened by nobody. Are you out of your mind? He knows our secret and you're willing to risk it all? I don't care, alright? This ends now. I will not allow you to destroy us. Give me that phone. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. Um, my princess, I would like to have a word with you. In private. Leave us. What is it? My princess, I came to ask you if you have any message you would want me to deliver to you. Mother, in the afterworld. <laughs> and what is the meaning of that? Because this is where I'm going to. Yes! I am going to die and meet her dear. If you refuse, if you refuse to participate in this drama your father is organizing for your late mother's remembrance now, eh, please. Eh, he, he has threatened me. He has threatened me enough. I don't think he's going to spare my life this time around. Please spare me. Help me participate, please. Thank you. Cross your heart and lick your lollipop. Hold your cheeks and never have a tic to tic tac to tic tac to tic tac to tic tac to ah tic tac to tic tac to. My princess, forgive my intrusion, but you have to come with me immediately. Why? Something bad has happened to your mother, the queen. Mother? Yes. 
Dad, is she gonna be all right? Yes, my love, she's gonna be fine, okay? Gina, why are you crying? I don't want anything to happen to my mother. Nothing's gonna happen to her, okay? Look, we all need to be strong. The doctor says she's gonna be fine. We just have to wait for her to wake up. Dad, what really happened to her? It was an accident. Your Highness, I think that would be all for now. She will be awake any moment from now. She shouldn't be allowed to get off the bed here. I'll come back later in the day to see her. I'll take my leave now. She's awake. My queen, you're awake, thank God. How are you feeling? Wait, what happened? It was an accident, okay? Did you make that call? No, no I didn't. What call are you talking about? Is everything all right, Father? Everything's fine. Bruce's stepmom had a little accident, but she'll be all right. Where is she? I'll go see her. No, no, no. She's she's resting. I almost lost her. Like I lost your mom. I decided to take part in the drama, as long as you don't fire Chairman the chief maid. So what's it gonna be? Go ahead and give her the remote. We can watch anything, right? Right. Here, you can have the remote. We're not gonna drag it with you. You can keep it. I'm not in the mood. Besides, why can't I watch what you watch? I just got off the bedroom after seeing your mother. And I pray she gets better. I'm sorry once again for your mother's death. And we clearly understand if you don't want us to be a part of the drama. I mean, you must be wishing for her to be alive. Yeah, I wish that every day. But I just have to move on. And it's going to be very difficult. I didn't understand your pain until today that our mother almost died. I don't think our lives would have been the same if she had died. Sorry. Maybe we should share our mother with her. Yeah, maybe. But hey, sisters, I'm sorry not wanting you being part of the drama. But you're welcome to act alongside my dad and I. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Leave us. What are you doing? I'm leaving the palace, my, my princess, before your father meets me here. You're going nowhere. But my princess I said you're going nowhere. Return your things to the wardrobe and that's an order. Yes, my princess. I spoke to my father about you, by the way. Your Highness, we received news about our Queen. So how is she? She's well. She's well. It was a little accident, uh, but um, 
She's even the one that prepared breakfast for me this morning. Praise be to the gods yeah, that she's okay now. That is very interesting. Please extend our greetings to her. She'll hear. She'll hear. I would have called her out, but um, she's sleeping. You know, the drug she's taking is making her drowsy. Oh, sorry. So, how are the preparations coming? Oh, um, yes, your highness. A committee has been set up for the preparations, and it has been so far so good. Even the dancers are in high spirit. <laughs> the most spirit, too. Fantastic. Your Majesty, we have also set every preparation in motion to make sure we have enough food and drinks and whatever will make the merriment colorful. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, that's, that's great. Because I have huge plans for that. Good. You know. And for the first time ever, I'm going to dramatize for the villagers on how I met my late wife. Oh. Huh? <laughs> it's going to be great. Wonderful, <laughs> and, and that is why you are there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, well, the, 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 the story will uh, permeate to the unmarried the beauty of finding the right one. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. Go ahead and do all that, Your Majesty. And I'm solidly behind you. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I pushed you to the wall. I'm sorry I hurt you. Well, it's not over yet with us and Osmond. I know. I know. Th that's why I wanted us to kill him so that he can, he can die with our secret. I know. A man like Osmond has securities lying around in case he's dead. Kill him or not, either ways, we're screwed if we don't do his bidding. So what do you propose? Well, I was about getting to that until you hurt me. You will take the character Amaka while you take the character Onye. But I took the character of Onye. Why give it to Lucy? I don't even like Amaka. Oh, oh, my princess. We are trying to get the best out of this. You see, I'm properly testing the waters to know the best role for each and every one of you. Mm, is my role as the chosen wife of the king contestable? Because I can relinquish it for another role. No, 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 no. My princess, that is the perfect role for you. As a matter of fact, it was chosen by the king for you. Alright? Okay, I'll try this Amaka's character and see if it fits. Otherwise, I'll go back to me. Good. So, let's start. Without him? Are you seriously going to start Riyasu without my father? Seriously? Sorry, I'm the girls. You're gonna be fine for that. <laughs> Accept it. Your Highness. How are you? Well, the king has some issues to take care of in the kingdom, okay? So I'll not be part of rehearsals today. Yeah. So I'm going to take over. Should I tell her? We'll head, we're all sisters. What is it? What are you two hiding? We think our parents are keeping a secret from us. How? Based on the conversation they had while our mom was recovering from accident. Look at who we have here. The highly exalted queen of Isidu Kingdom in flesh and blood. You know Edward has done a great job on your sweet buddy honey. You will not address my husband the king by his first name. <laughs> I should call him the king. <laughs> that, that's so ridiculous. As long you asked for this meeting, don't waste my time. You know I really never liked you. You're a king, Joey. Oh, my, my bad, please. Have a seat. I'll rather oh. stand. What is it? Okay, I should get you a drink, something to Osmond, chill. Osmond, spew out the amount and I'll have my husband write another check for you. You think this is about me? Oh yes, it is. And it has always been. Well, this time around, you're wrong.
I know you will not like what I'm about to say, but um, I have decided on it. And that's exactly what I want. Uh, my princess, the table is set. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, um, do you think my parents keep secrets? Of course, every king has secrets which they share with their wives or by themselves alone. I mean, in the course of leading his people. It's not easy for any king to function without secrets. Calling it war secrets or... I'm not talking about secrets like that. Then what are you talking about and why do you think they keep secrets? I don't know. Call it a hunch. But I really think they keep secrets. And in fact, my sisters do think too. So, what kind of secrets do you think they keep? Hmm. I don't know, my princess. Find out. Princess. That's what I want you to do for me. Find out. Or don't you appreciate me giving you back a job? Go find out. Madness, that will never happen. Edward, listen to No, me. there's nothing to listen to, all right? What he's asking for is insane. He living in this palace here with us is not insane. In fact, it will actually enable us to keep an eye on him. What's so wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. Everything! And you should never have accepted his request. Well, I told him I'd speak with you first. Well, you better tell him I said no. Edward! No! anything. Are you seriously saying that? I thought as much. Look, it's just a little favor, okay? Choma, it's always a little favor. But you don't care about how I feel. Oh, Edwin, please, let's not do this now. I know you're going to say just that. Choma, I am not hungry. Edwin. Yeah. Please. Please. So, what do you want? You know, uh, you're close to the king. I want information. I want information about the king and his wife. What information? I want a clean job. Make it look like a suicide. Got it. How soon do you want it? Then? Very soon. As soon as possible. Let me get his picture. Excuse me. Hello, sis. It off. Why? Listen up, six. The king refused, and there's no point trying again because he's not going to listen to that crazy demand. What are you saying? Fine. It's all right. I've heard. Fine. Change of plans. I'm going to pay you for your time anyway. Your Highness. 
There has been agitations and protests making round the entire kingdom about the unwise way you have been spending from the palace cover. The people are not happy at all. They are not happy about this. You need to call them together. Tell them you directly spend from your pocket. Because I hate the profanities they spew about your administration. Your Majesty, are you listening to me? Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Uh, I, I, I mean, I am saying that uh, you should. I'll, 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 I'll address it. I'll, I'll address the people. I will. That's a good one. Eh? It's a good one. But your Majesty, you have to prepare a statement so that you will not make. I don't need a prepared or rehearsed statement. I am the king, and my word is authority. I will tell the people exactly what I want them to hear and put an end to this unfounded speculations or statements or whatever. But, Your Majesty... I'm tired, I know. Can we pick this up in the morning? Thank you. Your Majesty... So? Uh, my princess, what I was able to gather from the guards is just war secrets and some petty secrets that would be of no interest to you. No, you have to dig deeper because so far you've got nothing. Yes, I know my princess, but you still haven't told me why you're doing all this. My sister said they heard my father and his wife they said something while making a phone call. And I don't think they're comfortable. So, I mean, something has to explain their strange behaviors. I mean, they've been shutting me and my sisters out. I need you to find out what they've been hiding. Okay. I'll, I will try again, my princess. I hope I get something concrete this time around. Um, apologies for the stress, though. Anything to make my princess happy. I just want you to be happy. Just, you know, put a smile on your face. Just like you're doing now. Be smiling. Alright, my princess, I will just get down to work and do my detective research. Yeah. Our meal is served. Let's go and eat. I'm not hungry. My husband. I said I'm not in the mood. The kids are already waiting. Well, they can't eat without me, can't they? Sweetie, don't make this harder than it already is. My queen. There is no way I'm allowing a stranger to work in this palace. It's not going to happen. Well, he'll make good on that threat, and you know what the result would be. Edward, let's just allow him work here. So he can be close to you. Is that the plan? Oh, come on. I already told you that whatever happened between the two of us is in the past. Please, let's just give in to his demand one last time, okay? All right, tell me, what position am I supposed to give him? Hmm? My errand boy, my personal assistant, my git man, my maid. What am I supposed to give a man like him in this palace? Please tell me. Also.
that easily. Osmond, so you're behind us. Osmond, I will deal with you. I will so deal with you, Osmond. I will so deal with you. <laughs> if I were you, I will take care of that cops in your apartment before the police gets there. You know, I just reported an assault going on in your apartment not too long ago, so good luck escaping the prison. <laughs> What's that? Osmond, I will deal with you. I will so rip. I will rip off your eyes. I will kill you, Osmond. I will kill you. Osmond. Did you try inquiring you know, from the king the reason for his strange behavior? How, how will I ask the king such? I mean, he's above my pay grade. Do you want to put me in trouble? Oh, no, I'm just saying, you know, as his close ally, he should be able to confide you with some of his secrets. Excuse me. Why are you so interested in the king's secrets? Did he ask you to test me? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, why would you even say that? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Gee, baby. <laughs> Why don't you come and visit me tomorrow? I will not be coming to the palace for anything. Hmm. No, thanks. I am not coming. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Eh? You always promised to visit me, but you never did. Now you don't even want to promise anymore. Of course, that's because I am tired of making promises I can't keep. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Won't you, won't you get married? Do you want to remain a palace maid forever? <coughs> Sabinus, please. Huh? Let's discuss this some other time, okay? You're shying away from the truth. Uh -huh. Wow. This palace is getting classier and classier by the day. Aren't you a lucky bitch? Uh, you will not insult me in this palace. I am a queen, and you will refrain from using such a word to address me in the future. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry about that. Queen. I'll fetch my husband. I'm so happy for you. I mean, Jordan State is a nice and safe state to do your youth service. You're the first person who has said this to me, but there's no rejoicing yet since my call up letter is yet to be given. So I'll just keep my fingers crossed. You've already paid someone who is in charge of posting coppers in the whole federation, so you have nothing to worry about. Jota is a sure place for you once the call up letters are out. But I'm not happy. I wish you're going with me, Chooks. Does that answer, Chooks? Probably. Yes. I think his real name is King Edward Chooks Obuanu. Uh -huh. But why don't you speak with your people to raise money so you can pay and be posted to the state of your choice? They can't help me. In fact, they're the last people I am to approach now for help because they've exhausted their savings seeing through my final year examination at the university. I understand. So what are you going to do now? They should post me to the north. I don't care if I die there. God forbid, my dear. Nothing will happen to you. I think this is the part where I hug you. Touching. Why would I beg for money? I thought he's a prince. Lucy, you've not finished the story yet. Dad never revealed his true identity in his university days until, I think, after his youth service. I'm so glad he later did his youth service with, together with his friend, who turned out to be my mom. I feel like going shopping. Who's with me on this? Take your face cap. Off. 
I should what? You were before a king. And the last time I checked, you didn't hold any position in the palace, so take your face cap off. Oh, but I wouldn't hold a position, so why are you insisting I take my cap off? Do you want me to call the guards and have them arrest you for insolence? Please, can we continue with this discussion and stop this childish show of power? It doesn't suit you. I am not doing this with him. Please, Let's ignore his character and continue with the discussion. Osmond, please continue. I believe you've told him what I want, but to uh, make my demands clear, I, I'd like to remind you, Your Highness, that... Um, After much thought of your demands, I have decided that I'm going to make you my personal driver. A driver? Yes. No. No what? But I refuse to be used as an ordinary driver. Now you listen to me, boy king. I deserve a seat in your administration, a, a recognizable position. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about being your right hand man on the throne. Something like, um, yes, a personal advisor to you. Is this a joke? Is this, is this what you brought me to discuss? Really? A joke? Yes? Wait, wait. Very comfortable, Your Majesty. Are, are you insane? Have you lost your manners? Get the hell out of my way! your guards. Speak to them because I will not be insulted the next time I will come to this palace. I'm sorry, they are only following orders. Speak to them. Unless you don't want me to be coming to visit you. I will. And why are you so worked up? Uh, is, it, is it here? I mean, Osmond. No, he's not here. She went out not long ago. After making a crazy demand of wanting to be my husband's personal advisor. I hope the king agreed to that. Of course not. How would he agree to such a thing? He's not even happy with me and hasn't spoken to me since. Listen, sis. You have to convince the king. Osman is very dangerous and has gone wacko. At least for the king's safety and yours too. Wait, are you afraid of Osmond? Yes, I am. Because he has threatened me way beyond my imagination. You have to talk to the king, your husband. You have to have an agreement. At least for the sake of your lives. I need a glass of water.
death did me wrong. If not for death, would I have gotten another wife? Would I? What is that supposed to mean? It is what it is. Excuse me. I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Don't ever say such a thing to me again. It hurt me. I know, I know, okay? I was just upset and I spoke out of context, okay? I've got so many guards and securities and Osman cannot come close to me or, or, or you. But Osman holds information that can be disastrous if it gets to the ears of our people. I know, I know, I know. You're right. You're right. Give him what he asked for. Done. Okay, he's going to move into the palace as my aide, effective immediately. Thank you. So you forgive me? I do. And I promise to keep a distance away from him. Okay. So we're going to get out of here now? I think the things are done. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Okay, so what is this request that is so important that just sits on my throne? Do I need to remind you how disrespectful it is to sit on the king's throne? Do you know that if my elders should walk in here now, I'll be in so much trouble because of you girls? You're the king of this great kingdom, Father. So fear nothing. Father, we need a throne just like this one to sit on. Cross, let's just go on with our request, which we came here for. Shopping, Dad. We want to go shopping. You girls went shopping three days ago. Three days ago, you said, Dad. We want shopping and we want to go with one vehicle and not too much escort. Yes, escort, but not some government officers or dead bodies. Going with an escort is for your own safety, we discuss this. Besides, every king, queen, prince or princess must be chaperoned by guards all the time. Now, can you go shopping next week? No! no. It's today, Dad. I'm prepared for it already. Do not going to take no for an answer, are you? Just like your mother's. Fine, okay, off my go. Feels really good to be royalty. Uh, no. You must be high on something to think that living here makes you royalty. Oh, but it feels like one. What is this? Well, this is where you'll be staying for the little period of time that you'll be in this palace. Little period of time? Are you are you kidding me or something? Over there is your means of communication. Call the kitchen to bring you food. And call for dry cleaning, toiletries, any other services. And I hope it has a number that connects directly to you in case I need a massage or something new. Your tailor is going to come in to take measurements and make you royalty clothes that will match your position in this palace. You know, you... You are so kind, my love. And I miss you so. I don't you dare, okay? If you do not want your heart parted from your chest while in this palace, you stay the hell away from me. Do you get that? Stop this! What's happening here? 
Your Highness. I said stop it! What's the meaning of this? Your Highness, insolent. What? But I've got it handled, okay? Don't worry. What did he do to you? Your Highness, can, can you imagine? Can you, can you imagine him? He, he walked past me. No greetings. C can you imagine that? He walked past you? Yes. Is that why you want to lynch him to death? talking about insolence here and you know may maybe we need to discuss on some disciplinary measures on oh, for the workers in this palace they need to learn oh my god are, are you okay he's fine he he's really hurt you need we need to take him to the hospital no. are you okay no oh my god but he needs to be disciplined Must be uh... well considering that you're not wearing the same uniform with the other maidens. See, must be a special kind of maiden. That still doesn't answer my question. You must be the chief maid, but I see who in higher position than you, so I believe greetings should be in order. I still don't get it. I still don't know who you are. So I'll ask again. Who are you? Well, I am the king's aide. The new aide to the king. Oh. I see. Oh, well. Is there something you want? Because nobody is allowed into this kitchen except me and the maidens. Oh, rules. Well, I... I'm just trying to... I was just dropping by to... You know, my new environment. By the way, you're... You're pretty, I believe. Um, maybe you've not been hearing it often from... Reputable men with great positions. If you have uh, nothing to collect from here, please leave. I am um, yet to be informed about your presence in this palace. Well, I'm not done with my... Uh, checking out the environment. We have a new occupant in the palace. And I'm sorry that I did not pre-inform you about his arrival. But here he is. He's going to be my new aide or personal assistant. You mean your advisor, my king? Yes, advisor. I'd like you all to treat him with respect. As we all know, he's very hot tempered. Especially when dealing with insubordination, you mean, my king? Respect his position so that this palace can continue to run as smoothly. As we all know that he does. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, my king. I promise not to disappoint you. And um, and yes, I would um, I'd like to know. Hey, come back here. I'm still talking. I'm sorry, sir. Also, you. What's your name? Sondu, sir. So you mean you don't have any fat name or something? No, sir. Yes, sir. So when I saw Sondu, you will come, right? Yes, sir. Good. You. What's your name? Something is seriously amiss, and I can feel it. That is not in his right senses. What made you say that? Can't you see that man was literally putting the words into his mouth? Yes, I noticed. And mom strangely kept quiet. 
I need to know who that man really is and why the job is so important that it should be given to him. I should just read them out to our parents and acquire from them. If only they will open up to us, since they are now too private and secretive. How will you know that? Isn't it obvious? Well, I guess you guys should go inquire from your mom while I speak to the king. Also, I'd like to speak with the youth leader. You know, I think he's the right person to discuss this issue with. Um, your Majesty, what about the venue of the event? Don't you think it is high time you move it away from the, the palace to the community hall? Yes. Brilliant. That's a brilliant idea. And the hall is big enough to take everybody on the day. Exactly. It, it will even save us the cost and the stress of renting kind of piece for the event. Very true. Yes. Very true. Very good contribution, Ichi and Ikwe. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 your Highness, please permit me to make suggestion uh, concerning this whole thing. I have some brilliant... If I need any contributions from you, I would let you know. Huh? You heard him. The king said permission denied, so sit down. Uh, but but king, I need a contribution from you. I will let you know. That's all. Simple. So sit down. Hmm? As we we're saying, the majesty. So let's make provisions for give or take five thousand people. Hmm. Hmm? That would be wonderful. Five thousand more. Yeah. Get your filthy hands off me. I want you to warn that little boy sitting on the throne answering king that I cannot be messed with. Who are you calling a boy? The king, of course. Your husband. Is he not a boy? Now, if you allow men like us have a say in matters concerning the kingdom. You're a man? Yes. And do you know the difference between me and that boy you called husband? I told for everything I have now and in the past of which you know about. I survived the street. But tell me one thing that he has that wasn't given to him by his late father, the king. What? Can you stop this unnecessary comparison and tell me exactly why you brought me here? Like I said, he should stop shutting me out on the matters concerning the kingdom. I cannot function properly as his aid if he doesn't allow me to have a say in the council of elders. And I hate being treated as a minor. So warn him. You heard what I said, warn him. A bodyguard. Or better said, an aid? Well, it's quite unfortunate. But Edwin, I am so disappointed in you. Why? Oh, did you just ask me why? Yes. I thought you said you're a close ally to the king. You even bragged about it. I can see how close you are to him. Well, I really don't know how it all happened. I, I mean, it surprised me. But one thing I am very sure is that I am still very, very close to the Igwe. Give yourself assurance. Keep assuring and consoling yourself. Uh, but is that why you will not give me a chance? A chance? Oh, yes. I don't want to hear that this happens again. You both are guards. You shouldn't be having squabbles inside the palace. Princess, you know I'd like to have a word with my father. Yes, my princess. What is this? Has Caleb come for rehearsals or is there some other excuse now? Who's Caleb? Sorry, Sabinus. Father, what is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. 
But you look disturbed, and you've been looking like this for a week now. <laughs> what is it? It's probably just the stress of the palace, all right? I'm fine. You did not just become the king yesterday. And I know when my father is unhappy or disturbed. And I've come to know the problem, so we can seek a solution to it together. I may offer a couple of advice. Sweetheart, I'm fine, all right? I can assure you of that, I'm all right. You know, I don't believe you. <laughs> and that man that's leaving with us now, why does he interrupt you in everything you say? He's just getting to know me and the palace, okay? And... And what, father? What? Nothing. You're not becoming secretive. That's cool. Very cool. Wait, sweetheart, honey. Carol. Okay, I'm here now. You sent for me. Who is that new man, Mom? Who is he? I believe you heard your father introduce him as his new aide. You don't like him. Why, sweetie? Did he attack you or something? We just don't like him. We want him out of the palace. You know that's impossible, considering the fact that it was your father's idea to bring him into the palace. Which is why you need to open up to us, Mom. Are you and dad in some kind of danger or what? No, honey, we're not. Listen, you girls need to stop worrying your little heads about me and your father. Our relationship as a husband and wife is rock solid, okay? Now, whose idea was it coming to me with this discussion? Just the two of you? Okay. Okay. We're fine, okay? Come here, honey. We're good. Your father and I are good. My husband. I don't want to talk about him. Edward, I know how difficult it is having him in this palace. But you can show it by not allowing him perform his duty. His duty is that of a cockroach and I hate him. I hate him too, but what choice do we have? I have a choice of doing away with him. But you don't share the sentiment. It makes it even harder for me to accept the fact that he's here. I know, but we have a secret to protect. And so we need to start acting normal because the kids are beginning to ask questions. Disturbing questions. You're right. I mean, Kara came to me today and I couldn't even tell her the truth. They're already disappointed in us. I mean, Osman needs to leave her family, he needs to go far away from here as soon as possible. Please, patience, okay? Be patient. Let's give him time. Let's bear with him and carry him along for now. Okay? Please. We don't want you here, and I command you to leave. <laughs> Sorry, you um, uh, I'm here to eat, okay? Hey, you don't have a seat in this dining, so leave! Apologies, my princesses, but my position in the palace qualifies me a seat, and that's why I'm here. I'll serve him no food. I'll take no insolence from anybody. Hi. Are you happy now? Can you imagine the kids? I mean, I'm, I think things have lost their appetite. I think you should join me so that 
You don't want to eat. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. In fact, you can have it alone. Thank you. Ask for me. Would you? I would have been fine with you though, but... I met with your doctor today. Why did you lie to me? I am sorry. You are sorry? How could you lie with such a thing? How? I can't believe I've not slept for two days now thinking of how I'm going to table this to my parents. I... I want you to marry me. I love everything about you. Your intelligence, your soft, sweet voice, and above all, your maturity. Is that enough for you to lie to me? You almost ruined me thinking of how I'm going to survive this campus with a girlfriend that's already pregnant for me. Your girl should not get pregnant from campus. I didn't send for my aide during rehearsals now, did I? And who says I can't join in the fun? Why don't you wait for me somewhere else? Uh, wherever the king goes, his aid is expected to be with him, remember? Can we continue, please? Continue with what? He either leaves or I'm out. Kara, wait, Kara. Kara. Gina. You wrote this, right? I will need you to write me in. Okay, I want to be part of it. Do you hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I did some digging. And what did you find? I found, um, I found out that the man is a friend to the Queen's brother. You mean Martins? Yes. And I also gathered that they're not in a good time right now. That is why it's a little bit odd for Martin to allow him to stay here. You're right. I've always known that there's nothing genuine about that man. Well, my love, if you want me to get rid of him, I will do it for you. Just give the order and consider it done. Oh, well. He's been making passes at me lately. <laughs> then consider him handled. What are you going to do to him? I can't wait to leave this palace and explore the world. Until our father meets up with our demand, we're going to go far away that he can't locate us. I support that. How are we going to leave the palace without the guards stopping us? That's why we're going to let our parents know that we're leaving the palace. Unless you're willing to meet up to our demands. Let me go get the bag. Have mercy on him. My king, I, I am very sorry. I'm sorry, my king. I'm so disappointed in you, Edward. What came over you? Hmm? What? I, and don't say it's a demon, because I wonder what kind of demon would tell a man to stab another man to death. Especially when that man is, is the king's aid. Me! My king, I, I, I'm very sorry. I, I acted out of jealousy. I'm very sorry. Oh, you're, you're jealous of my position. Is that it? Oh, King, I think it's high time you bought me a rifle so that I can reduce my enemies to three four. Enough! Hello. 
before I hand you over to the authorities. I'm going to have you flogged. Uh, um, my king, please permit me to be the one that does the flogging. Uh, because I, I, I think these are his friends and they might tend to take it lightly with him. I have a disciplinarian who does that. So no. Take him out. That the palace for the What? Sorry, my princess, you can't leave without the king's order. I'm the princess of this palace, and my word is authority. So is the rest of my sisters here. And we're asking you to move yourselves out far away. Sorry, my princess, but we can't. Please try and understand our position on this. We're so gonna deal with you if you don't allow us to pass. You better let us out now, or tell our parents you try kidnapping us. Please don't let us do this. Please. What's going on here? Oh, oh. thank God you're here. My thank God you're here. They wanted to leave, but it's against the king's order. My princess, what's going on? Can't you say we're leaving? Or do I need to spell things out for you? Leaving? I'm sorry, my princess, but you can't leave without the king's order. Wait. Does he even know you girls are leaving the palace? He doesn't. Oh, my princess. We're leaving this palace and that's final. So you're the one with whom I kiss after this. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, be nice. Stop it, both of you. What is wrong with you girls? Hmm? You want to know what is wrong with us? What kind of seeing you and mom living a lie? Living a lie? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mom. What is it that you and dad are hiding that you now talk behind closed doors? You used to share everything with us, but now you no longer do so. What is the problem? There's so much we no longer know about you people. For example, the man that came here to work as your aide. We don't know him or anything about him. We don't even know why he came here, controlling everybody around him. We're tired. We need a break from this palace. And wanting to leave the palace without telling me is the wise thing to do. I don't know what answers you three seek from your mother and I. But I'll tell you for the umpteenth time, we are not hiding anything from you. So stop being childish and stop trying to leave this castle. That's final. Carol. Leave us alone, Mom. Please, just let me explain, okay? What else do you have to say to us that Dad hasn't said to us? The people are not happy with your father. They are not happy with the way he spends money each year commemorating his late wife with a huge ceremony. Are you saying Dad has been spending the people's money? No. He's not been spending the people's money, but he's the king. And sometimes he has to adhere to the people's dictates. Listen, sweetie, the pressure is on him to cancel the ceremony. And I'm afraid that he's going to give in to their demands. Kara is not going to be happy about this. I know, and that's why I don't want to tell her. Well, why didn't you tell us this before now? I'm sorry. 
But listen, Kyra doesn't have to know about it. I don't have to tell her and neither do you. Okay? And who is that man living in our house? I don't like him. Oh, um, he's a man that our people sent to make sure that your father doesn't go ahead with the ceremony. Why? I'm sorry, my princess. You failed me. I know, and I'm sorry. You couldn't do the simple thing I asked of you. I'm trying my best. But so far, I've got nothing, my princess. I even wanted to leave the palace. But you went ahead and told my dad about it. Why are we still having this conversation? Because I had the king telling his wife how he wants that man dead. Are you saying my dad wants that new man dead? Yes. Why? I don't know yet. That is why I haven't reached out to you, my princess. But why leave the palace when you can stay and unravel the truth of who that man really is? Hi. Get out of my sight. And why would I do that? I mean, you don't deserve to be alone, especially after losing your boyfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. Think I was dumb not to notice the love in your eyes? By the way, were you the one who sent him to kill me? Please. Get out of my sight. Oh, come on, G. I know how heartbreaking it can be, especially the fact that he didn't succeed. See, I am a cat with nine lives. And you, you're fine. You're beautiful. We can really be good friends in this palace. Who told you my name? Come on, I am the king's aide. I get whatever I want, including information any information well mr information minister how about you give me the information of who you really are and what you are doing in this palace maybe just maybe i will consider your friendship proposal but until then stay away from me You come back to me. What are you doing? How dare you? You may want to reduce your voice before the king, your husband, hears us. Oh, so you know my husband, the king, is around and you have the guts to be in his bed? If my husband walks in here right now and finds you, the deal is off. Because what he will do is kill you. But you won't let him. At least not yet. You know what I mean. Osmond, the only reason you're alive is because I didn't support my husband in his option of killing you. Exactly what I'm talking about. You are wise and you know me better. I mean, that's why you couldn't bring yourself to agree with him. Leave. You are shutting me out. First it was your husband and now you. I am a ticking time bomb. I hope you know that. Yeah. You are shutting me out. You are shutting me out and I don't like it. I am not here to put on some annoying local regalias. You know exactly why I am here. And I don't need to remind you of the consequences. Leave me the hell alone, Osmond. Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Tick.
my queen. Why are you still awake? I can't sleep. Why can't you sleep, babe? I'm worried about the fate of your throne. We don't have an heir to succeed to the throne. What? I have heiresses? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Our people would never accept to crown a woman a king of this land. Is that really what's bothering you? Oh, you think that's not enough to lose sleep over? Edward, we're not getting any younger. We're an inch closer to senescence. And I don't understand why God hasn't granted me a male child just yet. Well, to be fair, it does bother me, okay? But Osmond is still in this palace, and I can't stop dreaming about killing that bastard. Osmond is not our problem. Osmond is not our problem? No. Our kids are not friends with us anymore because of him and you say he's not a problem. Osmond made a demand and we gave him what he wanted. That takes care of the problem. Having a male child for you is what I'm focusing on right now. He'll come, okay? But you need to get some sleep. Since our people no longer support the event, why don't we stop the rehearsal? Never. Never. Do you hear me? See, my king, don't do something you will regret in the future. Just because... The I... drama will hold as planned. I owe it to my late wife. I must tell the story of how I met my late wife to the people, okay? Is that so important to you? Yes, Sabinus. Yes, it is. I owe it to my late wife and I owe it to every young man out there who suffered several heartbreaks in a world where love has been auctioned to the highest bidder. Um, calm down. Calm down, uh, Your Highness. So, um, why don't we throw a, a low-key event? Something low-key will not attract attention and agitations. What do you think? That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. You know, Sabinus, I have to take uh, making you my special advisor on certain matters into serious consideration. You're a wise man. You're wise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm always delighted. What can you pick up? Yes. Uh... Uh, so, what did I miss? What did the king's eat miss? I'll take my leave, Your Highness. You're welcome. Um, Your Highness, I... Let's tell her. Never. It's gonna break her heart if she finds out we already knew. She's not gonna find out except to tell her. I just feel sorry for her. I mean, the ceremony was supposed to remind her of her mom. And also to give her hope that her mother is at peace wherever she is. Trust me, she's not gonna be happy. We need to tell Dad about this. Did you hear what father said? His hands are tied to the will of the people. So much for being the king. He can't even be in control. Father is called to serve his people, not to give orders in everything. Let's just keep this away from Carob until dad decides to break it to her. What are you guys discussing about? We're just waiting for a drama teacher. Okay, then let me go get my food. Lucy, I never knew you could lie so convincingly. Hi. How dare you come in without a knock? 
My bad. Hi. That's a very disrespectful way to greet a princess. Apologies, my princess. Greetings. You sent for me. Yes, I sent for you. What do you want? I don't understand. I mean, what can I give you in return for my question? <laughs> what can you possibly give me, my child? I'm not your child. Again, apologies. Uh, but what can you possibly offer me when you know I have a colossal throat for good things? I mean, big things. How big is it? Very big. I mean, there is nothing you can offer me that will make me talk. Try me. I can pull some strings and things will stop happening if you wish. <laughs> Okay, okay, fine. Fine, Miss Bold and Brilliant. What's your question? Who are you? I mean, aside from being my dad's aide, I want to know who you really are. Wow, that is a very big one. And you don't expect me to just answer the question without a prize, do you? Just say it and consider it done. <laughs> you, you're funny. But fine. Can you give me the chief maid? Because I kind of like her. I bet I know you can. You can. Done. Consider it done. You're serious? I am your uncle. Your late mother's brother. We should take a vacation. Yeah. I was considering going to either Hawaii or Bahamas. What do you think? Hawaii? I thought we were going to Canada. Besides, the kids are looking forward to it and you know it's long overdue. I know, but I changed my mind about Canada. I want us to go somewhere where we can have so much fun. <laughs> Okay, I'll call my friend in Embassy to sort out the details. Okay. When are you looking to travel now? Mm, perhaps after the commemorating ceremony. Well, that's if we actually get to do it. Of course, why not? But, low-key. Okay. Come! My princess, what is this? Hey honey, what is it? Why don't you tell me your new aide is my uncle? Your uncle? Where did you get that from? I remember I locked it after entering, so how did you enter? Can we just discuss that another time, okay? Oh, by the way, you have a... Uh, Stop so on What do you want? Well, I... <clears throat> I kind of reconsidered the offer. Which offer? You know, the one about... Me telling you who I am, and then in turn, you give me the access to all of this. Who are you? 
You see, we've not really had an understanding yet. We, you know, the offer need to reaffirm her promise to me, the offeree, before I spill the beans. Well, I am not interested. You see, that there makes this hard. Very hard. Ask for something else. I will oblige you. But I will not give you my body. <laughs> That's the problem. What are you even keeping it for? Who? The guy that made a tent on my life? He's already dead. Oh, okay. You're hoping that he will, he's going to come back to this palace for you. It is <laughs> he's dead. Get out of my room. Yes. Okay, how about a kiss? Just a kiss and I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> That look is what I was expecting. You can't say no, can you? <laughs> of course, yeah. Get out! Get out. Go, go! go. Oh, come on. I go, but go. don't push me. like a virus. I'll give it to you. You always look beautiful each time you frown. What the hell did you tell Kara? Oh, she already attacked you and your husband. <laughs> what a tiger she is. She's bold and beautiful, and I like her. Only she's not your daughter. Answer me, Osmond. I told her the truth. The truth? Well, I told her what she needs to hear. Do you know what you have caused by telling her that nonsense? She now sees me and the king as liars who deceived her. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Osmond, do not make me regret having you move in here. It's not like you had a choice. And you can't help but miss me. Hey! Don't you dare touch me. Don't.
There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. So what's the trip? I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. So much to see. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of. I'm burning. Come on, who will build the path? Who will win the search? For the land is real. My princess, there's something I have to tell I you. I already know. I, I don't think he you... He told me he's my mother's brother. And I should... Forgive me, my princess. But I think... I... You know what? Just forget about him. Now I know the kind of father I have. And I'll never forgive him for hiding such a thing from me. No, my princess. Please, I just need to be left alone. I have an assignment for you. In fact, you will be promoted to King's servant of the palace effectively. Oh my goodness. Is this a joke? You are to move your things in this palace and leave. I'm looking forward to that. I'm so happy, my king. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, ooh. Sit down. All right, you got it. So, my assignment. Mm -hmm. You know the man that I employed as my aide in his palace? Yes, you know Yes. You. What did you tell Princess Kyle? <laughs> wow. I think I like kissing more than any other thing. How dare you? Look, the next time you try that again, I'll be forced to report you to the king. What's wrong with you? The king? Oh, you wait until I tell the king my intentions towards you. Oh, do you prefer public proposal or private one? Why? Why did you tell Princess Kara a different thing from what you told me? Why did you lie to her? Hmm. I forgot that you have been long enough in this palace to know how it is built. I'll be taking a trip to Abuja in two days. And as thus my office will not be available till I get back. Yeah, a trip that that sounds like fun to me. I won't be needing you around the palace since I return. Oh hold on. Are you saying that I should follow you to Abuja or what? What I'm saying is that I need you to find somebody to stay and stay with you. Uh, your head is that that's not how things happen. I mean, that's unfair. When a king is going on a vacation, he, his uh, personal advisor takes over the royal regent pending when the king returns. I believe that I've made my point clear. Well, your point is not okay with me, so I just need you to think for a while about it and let me just uh, answer the call of nature. Chama, baby. <laughs> Sweet Chama. Chama, this is fabulous. Do I need to remind you that this is a palace kitchen? And only the ladies and I are allowed to, uh, to enter. <laughs> I know that. Um, I came to I came to break this good news to you. Good news. Yes. What good news? <laughs> da la 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 la. Tam. <laughs> the king has just approved of me living in this palace. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep jumping. <laughs> I don't understand. Approved? The king approved? Why? 
What yes. should you be possibly doing in this palace? Ah. Have you <coughs> forgotten the services I rendered to the king? The drama? Have you forgotten the drama? <laughs> you know? oh. Is it because of the drama that you've been living in this palace? Or you're going to leave after the commemoration ceremony? Jim, I don't understand you. Why are you sending like this? Are you not supposed to be happy with me? This is a dream come true. Yes. Yes. I've always wanted you to come to my house. You refused. Now I brought my house to you. <laughs> Isn't it lost doing? Yes. yes, it lost doing. And I'm happy for you. <laughs> Excuse me. No, Mom, I prefer Dubai. Bahamas is all right. Well, my initial preference was Canada, and then I had a change of mind to Hawaii or Bahamas. Bahamas is okay by me. Are we ever going to Dubai? Um, I think this is a bad time to come in. No, 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 no. Stay, please. Come here. I was actually just discussing um, with your sisters concerning our yearly vacations as your father requested. Sister Kara, I'll suggest till we go to Dubai, but nobody's with me. <sighs> and I told her Bahama is bay. So what's your take, Kara? I know it's okay by me, even though I'm not in the mood to go anywhere. Why not? Come here. Listen, I know that you and I have not been in good terms as a stepmom and daughter. But I want you to know that I really do care about you and your feelings. So please, feel free to make your choice. Because I honestly want you to participate. Well, I'll go with Gina. Bahama sounds like a good idea. I'm sorry for my introduction. <coughs> what are you doing here? I came to inform you about your father's latest decision, which is asking Sabinus to live in this palace now. Hold on. Are you saying our drama teacher will be living here with us? Yes, my princess. And yet again, there is something I wanted to tell you about Osmo the last time we were. Um, there's something I was supposed to tell you about him too. Please sit. I kind of made an agreement with him about you. An agreement? What kind of agreement? Uh, I actually promised him of having you if you answer my question in which he did so my own turn to fulfill my own part of the bargain you understood me right i am still lost my princess what exactly are you talking about he said he likes you and i should help him connect you to him so he'll marry you i made him that promise and please find what ways my princess. I gave you my word, and I thought it meant something to you. I'm sorry. Alright? I'm no longer comfortable with him around you. Is that why you asked him to leave? Do we always have to go over the reason he's here? Look, I am not happy he's here, alright? And that's how I want it. Besides, I saw the way he was touching you. Edward! Whatever I had with Osmond is in the past, and you of all people should know that. There is no way I'd allow him to touch me. So why are you telling him you're traveling when you know you're not traveling? I am not happy with him here, alright? And I can't wait for him to get out of here. He has to leave. Sabina's told me he was moving in here. What for? I needed an errand boy. 
an errand boy. Really. You know for a fact that you don't need an errand boy. Unless there's something else you're not telling me. Something like what? Are you listening to me? Shh. Use your voice now. Then the princess did. The princess told me nothing. You know that's a lie. All what you want to disobey the princess of Isodo Kingdom. Listen, the princess is just a child. And I don't know the kind of arrangement or agreement you have with her. But it's just so foolish of you to think that I would ever agree to that. Uh, oh, yes. Really? Yes. That's <laughs> Okay, I think it's it's time I report you to the king so that this nonsense will stop. Whatever. Oh, that is poor. Okay. Yes. The, the money you guys got from the last operation is very poor. What is wrong with you guys? Is Rambo there? Give him phone, I want to speak with him. Rambo, what is wrong with you guys now? You mean you can't go to any operation without me? Is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. I am still saying that the money you guys got is poor. What is the problem? Guns? Or what? You need... You need fresh supplies of guns? <coughs> uh, I'll call you later. So what is this one to talk to me about? Pardon me for disturbing you, Your Highness. What I'm about to tell you has been disturbing me for quite some time now. Speak. It's about your Mr. Osu, your personal aide. What about him? He has been pestering me ever since he, he came into this palace. Ask him to sleep with me all the time. Are you sure about this? Yes, Your Highness. I, I know I'm not supposed to be telling you this when you have other important matters to deal with. But the harassment is becoming too much. And he said he likes you. Yes, Your Highness. But I've told him I am not interested. But still, he wouldn't give up and let me be. Your Highness, I'm not happy. It's all right, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll do something about it, okay? Thank you, Your Highness. What is the meaning of this? I saw him. He was eavesdropping on my conversation and I saw him following you around. So I grabbed him and tied him up. Is that why you tied him up like this? Mm -hmm. My queen, 
This guy has an evil intentions. Untie him immediately. <laughs> Thank you, my boy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, not so fast. Now tell me. Tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. What are you doing for my husband here in this palace? I, I, I don't understand what you... I don't understand. Why did he bring you here? You don't, don't, don't teach the kids. Try. I don't believe you. <laughs> my queen, this, this, this guy is not genuine. I told you. Just give me the permission to waste him. Are you going to tell me the truth or do I have to let Osman carry on with his threat? No, no. No, my queen, please. Don't watch me. I have a sick mother to take care of, please. Well, speak then. Okay, I will. See, my queen, I am working in the king's order. Yes. He said I should monitor you and report to him. Yes. He wants to be sure that you are not cheating on him. That's why I am here. That's why. Can I go down? What? I will go. I received a complaint from the chief mate that you are making passes at her ever since you came to this palace. Yes, you told me. Your Highness, I, are we really having this conversation? Allow me to express my deepest disappointments by your actions. What stopped you from telling me that you have feelings for my chief mate instead of harassing her? I. I didn't deem it necessary considering I am the king of this palace. I am in charge of everyone and everything in it. And I should be told of everything. There's nothing wrong with having feelings for my chief mate. I mean, she's quite good looking. But the fact that you didn't tell me, I find that very insulting. Oh my king gone. About that, I am very sorry. Apology accepted. However, I will allow you marry her instead of harassing her life. No, no, I've spoken. Wow, wow, I didn't see this coming. I Um, your highness, can I see? Just come in, it's open. This is my princess. What is this? Me for some time now. What is it? Why did you tell him? I don't understand. Why did you tell your dad about me and Osmond? I didn't tell my father anything. Well, your father has made the decision for me to marry that man, Osmond. Really? Yes. Isn't yeah, that exactly what I wanted? But I don't want him. I don't. Can't you just understand that I don't love him? I don't even want anything to do with that man. I... I'm sorry, my princess. I'm sorry for shouting. But I don't want that man. I don't want him. I, I would rather leave this palace. I'll talk to my father. Well, what do you think? Just please, please. Talk to him. Talk to him. I don't want to marry that man. I don't want him. I'd rather leave this palace than marrying that man. So, Sabine, any info for me? 
Your Highness, you deceived me, and I'm not happy about that. What are you talking about? I thought we had an agreement on the chief maid. I told you I want her. Yes. I remember that. Well, I'm sorry I changed my mind. You changed your mind? Your Highness, you brought me to this palace to monitor your wife and your aid. I asked you what to get in return. You told me to name anything. You're going to I grant it to me. Remember what I said. Which is why I'm saying, sorry to disappoint you. But you can ask for anything else and I'll grant it. Your Highness, she's the one I want. She's the one. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Uh, excuse me. I want to take my leave now. I know what you did. And I know I was the reason you did that, so admit it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please, Edward, don't give me that. Since when did you determine who marries the chief mate? A commoner. She works in this palace, doesn't she? Yeah, right. The only reason you did that was to make sure Osmond was occupied. Why are you this insecure? <laughs> I'm not insecure, all right? Besides, he does need to channel his focus off you to the chief mate, all right? That's how I want it, and I'm not sorry about it. You're not sorry about the fact that you're forcing a husband on a poor mate? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying she's mature enough to get married. All right? In fact, more than mature. Besides, this way he can get his eyes off you. Oh, so you think he still has his eyes on me? That's why you brought Sabino's, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't worry about it. Sabino's already told me everything. You're too jealous for my liking. And you better not impose a husband on that poor girl. You know, sometimes I wonder what the heck I'm doing in this marriage. A marriage where there's no trust. If not for one thing. If not for what? Go on, say it! He's going to come in between you and your husband. Mark my words. So what do you want me to do? You know the reason I allowed him here. Why did you call off the heat on his head? I almost succeeded in ending everything about Osmond. But you couldn't agree with that. Can I ask you a question, sis? Do you still have feelings for Osmond? How dare you? You're talking to a queen. I am sorry, but we're, we're having siblings' conversation here. You shouldn't attach your position to it. Well, I have no iota of feelings for Osmond. And please, let's drop this conversation. You have every chance to end it now. I can make that happen. Just allow me to help you. What I want you to do is to find a way of permanently burying whatever information Osmond has on me and my husband. Only his death. That problem. Osmond has friends and he's smart. How sure are you that the information he has on me would not be leaked upon his death? Huh? What he should be doing for me is looking out for close friends of his that he can easily confide in. That's what he should be doing. Ah, Oga, how are you? <laughs> Listen to me. I don't know how you managed to live in this family. I don't care, but what I will not take is you marry my woman. And who is your woman? Choma, of course. Listen to me. Choma is the reason I came to this palace. I will not allow anybody to take her away from me, not even you! Now listen to me, I get whatever I want, and not even the king will stop me, or anybody. No. Leave me alone. So she leaves me. 
Now, this is the last time you will confront me concerning this matter because I will be the one to decide whether to make her my wife or to dump her for you. Oh! Did you just say dump? Please dump her for me. Dump her. Just leave me. Just dump her. Dump. Now, I love her so much. Dump her for me. Dump. Thank you. So you know how to beg? Of course I know. In Joma's case, I can beg. I want you to run inside like the dog you are. And then I will consider whether to dump her for you or not. Mm. Get up! I'm surprised to hear this from you, a person that always starts up conversations during meals. Alright, that's enough. Alright? Everyone continue eating. And nobody say anything unless you have something reasonable to say. Well, I do have something reasonable to say, Dad. Just when I thought we're gonna have some piss and quiet. <laughs> say what you wanna say. Why did you cancel the commemoration ceremony without telling me about it? And who said I did? Just tell me the truth, Dad, because I see no reason the drama teacher is still living with us since the drama is no longer holding. What's he doing here? Well, let's just say the people are unhappy, alright? But the drama is gonna hold, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, why don't you just cancel the whole thing since it's pointless to the people? I mean, you've always done what the people want, so why don't you scrap it? I'm sure my late mom will understand. I also heard that the chief maid is getting married. Really? Please, I want to be left alone. Please. I want you to do something for me. Leave the palace. What? I should leave this palace? Yes. Since the king is hell-bent on giving you away to a man you don't love, you don't have any feelings for, you should leave the palace. Then, I promise to marry you. Well, thanks for your suggestion, but I am not interested. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Meaning you have accepted to marry the man? I haven't said that. But that's what it means. Well, yes. Staying back means you've accepted to marry him. He is a dangerous man. Is this what you want? What I want is to be left alone. What I want is to continue working in this palace as a maid without being forced into any relationship or marriage. Just let me be. I want you to know this. I will stop at nothing to have you as my wife. Nobody will take you away from me. Let's sneak out of the palace or ask that man that does nothing to leave. No, that's not the best way to handle this. I'm, this is all my fault. I And I so much regret it. I shouldn't have offered her to him without her content. But we were only trying to get information. Honestly, I messed up. I understand, but I want you to know that we're with you on this 100%. I think we should talk to Dad about this and see what he can do. Yes, come in. You sent for me. Yes, I do. You know, I have been thinking 
seriously about um, the marriage proposal. And I have also discovered the vanity of marrying someone who doesn't have any feelings for you. You want to let her go for me? Uh, not, not exactly. Uh, but I might just let her go. Only if you would meet some certain needs of mine. Talk to me. What do you want? It is not just what I want. I need you to give me an assurance that you will do exactly what I ask of you. I am ready. Good. Good, because that is the only way I would let her go for you. Else. I will just carry on with the marriage plans as the king had proposed. And I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Do you? Oh, no, of course. Oh, that means we have an agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Williams? He's at the backyard. Let's go. What's the meaning of this? Murderer! What's going on here? Your Highness, we caught him here with a knife trying to kill you. As a matter of fact, he almost succeeded if we had not come earlier. No, I came to drop the knife. You set me up! Samuels, Your Highness. You! Your Highness, I know you want this to be a lie, but it is true. And I must advise that you watch your back now that the enemy has entered palace. No, 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 your highness. I can't, I can't to give you a knife. You set me up? Seize him and take him out now! That is not... Take, take him out! Your, your is your knife. Your highness is your knife. I can't, I can't to give... I, 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 Let me take him out. Your highness, you need to watch. You're back. You did this to me. You should not trust him at all. He's evil. I, I, ah! 
that's the gods who the job. You devil! Now get out! Oh come on, don't pretend like you had any feelings for him. I mean, he got what he deserved. Why did you set him up? Because you're so evil! <sighs> no. You are the thing evil. I mean, for serving as an inspiration to evil, you are the very thing evil. Would never, ever give you my body. No, 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 darling. It was really never about you. I mean, he, he was beginning to pose threat to my other agenda in this palace, so I decided to get rid of him. What other agenda could you possibly have if not to get me naked? I would love that. In fact, I would never ask you of all. I will never ask you of that again. What you see? Very soon, you will be the one begging to be mine. Yes. So, um, I'd like to concentrate for now on my other agenda in this palace. Hmm. So. What are you not telling me? She wanted to know. I'm going to call a meeting of the elders tomorrow. I'm going to tell them the truth. What truth? I have made my decision and that's final. What truth are you talking about? The truth about what we've been hiding all these years. I'm going to tell them everything. Because I can't wait to personally deal with Osmond after that. And what about the consequences? Are you willing to face them? Oh yes, I am, my dear. You see, I'm tired of the lies and the pretense. I'm tired of all of it. I mean, who would think that Sabinus wants to murder me if someone put him up to it? So are you saying that you believe that Sabinus didn't act on his own? My queen, please don't tell me you don't think that was a setup. You know what? Go ahead, Edward. I am done pleading with you. Why don't you tell everybody, tell the whole world, and see if this family will still be the same. Go ahead. There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm a bunch of you are right on time, my queen. Do you have you care for me? That was you, wasn't it? I don't understand. What are you talking about? You set that man up, and I need you to admit to it. I don't understand what you're talking about. He made an attempt on the king's life. You and I know he didn't deliberately do that. You must have made him a promise, and somehow coerced him to doing it, didn't you? Stop! I mean, what's all this? What's all this accusation about? Besides, it's time. Time for what? Time to take out your husband. I mean, that's the reason I'm here, right? Not the uh, chief maid like everyone now believes. Are you drunk? Oh, I wish I was drunk. So, tell me, my love, how do you want me to take out your husband? Strangle him. Shoot him. Mom and Dad show you us an apology once we get to the Bahamas for that vacation. Well, I think the most important thing is that the vacation is happening. 
and I'm going to confront dad about anything so as not to sway his mind. We have a lot to talk about in Bahamas. I was considering we remain there instead of coming back here again. But dad has a kingdom to rule. Then let him resign. We need our family back together again. Listen to me, Martins. Osman made a threat on my husband's life, and I'm no longer comfortable in having him here. Look, this is not a time for a debate or a squabble, okay? I want you to do whatever it takes to end him. Get rid of him. Okay, well, I'm sorry for not allowing you to do what... Martins, are you listening to me? I said he made a threat on my husband's life. Hello? 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 Hello, Martins, are you listening to me? Hello? Hello? There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. So much betrayal. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. So much deceit. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. Come on, who will build the tower? Who will win the sword? The palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm a I'm burning. I call it a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm a I'm burning. There is so much to see. I'm burning. I'm a oh, And there is so much hatred. I'm burning. I'm a You must be... Uh, well, considering that you're not wearing the same uniform with the other meetings, you must be a special kind of meeting. That still doesn't answer my question. You must be the chief mate. But... As the whole entire position, then you saw so the greetings should be in order. I still don't get it. I still don't know who you are. So I'll ask again. Who are you? Well, I am the king's aide. The new aide to the king. Oh, I see. Oh, well. Is there something you want? Because nobody is allowed into this kitchen except me and the maidens. Oh, rules. Well, I... I'm just trying to... I was just dropping by to you know my new environment. By the way, you... You're pretty, I believe. Maybe you've not been hearing it often from reputable men with great positions. If you have uh, nothing to collect from here, please leave. I um, 
yet to be informed about your presence in this palace. Well, I'm not done with my... Checking out. Yeah, well, I did some digging. And what did you find? I found, um, I found out that the man is a friend to the Queen's brother. You mean Martins? Yes. And I also gathered that they're not in a good time right now. That is why it's a little bit odd for Martin to allow him to stay here. You're right. I've always known that there's nothing genuine about that man. Well, my love, if you want me to get rid of him, I will do it for you. Just give the order and consider it done. Oh, well. He's been making passes at me lately. Then consider him handled. What are you going to do to him? Take your face cap off. I should what? You were before a king. And the last time I checked, you didn't hold any position in the palace, so take your face cap off. Oh, but I would soon hold the position, so why are you insisting I take my cap off? Do you want me to call the guards and have them arrest you for insolence? Please, can we continue with this discussion and stop this childish show of power? It doesn't suit you. I am not doing this with him. Let's ignore his character and continue with the discussion. Osmond, please continue. I believe you've told him what I want, but to uh, make my demands clear, I, I'd like to remind you, Your Highness, that... Um, After much thought of your demands, I have decided that I'm going to make you my personal driver. Yes. No. No what? But I refuse to be used as an ordinary driver. Now you listen to me, boy king. I deserve a seat in your administration, a recognizable position. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about being your right hand man on the throne. S something like, um, yes, a personal advisor to you. Is this a joke? Is this, is this what you brought me to discuss? Really? A joke. I'm sorry, my princess. You failed me. I know, and I'm sorry. You couldn't do the simple thing I asked of you. I'm trying my best. But so far, I've got nothing, my princess. I even wanted to leave the palace. But you went ahead and told my dad about it. Why are we still having this conversation? Because I had the king telling his wife how he wants that man dead. Are you saying my dad wants that new man dead? Yes. Why? I don't know yet. That is why I haven't reached out to you, my princess. But why leave the palace when you can stay and unravel the truth of who that man really is?
Hi. Get out of my sight. And why would I do that? I mean, you don't deserve to be alone, especially after losing your boyfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. Think I was dumb not to notice the love in your eyes? By the way, were you the one who sent him to kill me? Please, get out of my sight. Oh, come on, Chi. I know how heartbreaking it can be, especially the fact that he didn't succeed. See, I am a cat with nine lives. And you, you're fine, you're beautiful. We can really be good friends in this palace. Who told you my name? Come on, I am the king's aid. I get whatever I want, including information. Any information. Well, Mr. Information Minister, how about you give me the information of who you really are and what you are doing in this palace? Maybe, just maybe, I will consider your friendship proposal. But until then, stay away from me. You come back to me. I remember I locked it after entering, so how did you enter? Can we just discuss that another time, okay? Oh, by the way, you have a... Uh, Stop, don't touch me. What do you want? Well, I... <clears throat> I kind of reconsidered the offer. Which offer? You know, the one about me telling you who I am, and then in turn, you give me the access to all of this. Who are you? You see, we've not really had an understanding yet. We, you know, the offer need to reaffirm her promise to me, the offeree, before I spill the beans. Well, I am not interested. You see, that there makes this hard. Very hard. Ask for something else. I will oblige you. But I will not give you my body. <laughs> That's the problem. What are you even keeping it for? Who? The guy that made a tent on my life? He's already dead. Oh, okay. You're hoping that he will, he's going to come back to this palace for you. It is <laughs> He's dead. Get out of my room. Yes. Okay, how about a kiss? Just a kiss and I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> That's Luke. Is what I was expecting. You can't say no, can you? <laughs> no, of course. Yeah. Get out! Get out! Go, go! go. Oh, come on! I go, but go. don't push me. Get out! So. like a virus. Come in. My princess, there's something I have to tell I you. I already know. I, I don't think he you... He told me he's my mother's brother. And I... Uh, Forgive me, my princess. But I think I... You know what? Just forget about him. Now I know the kind of father I have. And I'll never forgive him for hiding such a thing from me. No, my princess. Please, I just need to be left alone.
to you. What do you tell Mrs. Kyle? Oh. Wow. I think I like kissing more than any other thing. How dare you? Look, the next time you try that again, I'll be forced to report you to the king. What's wrong with you? The king? Oh, you wait until I tell the king my intentions towards you. Oh, do you prefer public proposal or private one? Why? Why did you tell Princess Kara a different thing from what you told me? Why did you lie to her? Hmm. I forgot that you have been long enough in this palace to know how it is built. My bad. There's something I wanted to tell you about Osmond the last time we were. Um, there's something I was supposed to tell you about him too. Please sit. I kind of made an agreement with him about you. An agreement? What kind of agreement? Uh, I actually promised him of having you if you answer my question, in which he did, so my own turn to fulfill my own part of the bargain. You understood me, right? I am still lost, my princess. What exactly are you talking about? He said he likes you and I should help him connect you to him so he will marry you. I made him that promise and please find what? a way. What? My princess. Get some, get some fresh Come on. What's the meaning of this? Me not what? Don't you ever do that again, okay? Are you listening to me? Shh, use your voice now. Then the princess did. The princess told me nothing. You know that's a lie. Or what you want to disobey the princess of Isodo Kingdom? Listen, the princess is just a child. And I don't know the kind of arrangement or agreement you have with her. But it's just so foolish of you to think that I will ever agree to that. Uh, oh yes. Really? Yes. That's it. <laughs> okay, I think it's it's time I report you to the king so that this nonsense will stop. Once and for all. surprised when he said he's actually not interested in you. So what does he want then? That's the problem. He said there is something he wants so much more than me. But he failed to mention it. That's why I came to you, my queen. My queen, I think that man has evil intention with his palace. He means anything else to you? Nothing. So okay, it's um, it's fine. I'll have a word with that man. Okay, and um, please don't discuss this with any other person. Okay. Are you listening to me? Yes, my queen. Yes, because I don't want to create any panic in this palace. Whatever it is that man came here for, I'll handle it. Okay. I've heard you, my queen. Thank you so much. Look at who we have here, the highly exalted queen of his little kingdom in flesh and blood. You know, Edward has done a great job on your sweet body, honey. You will not address my husband, the king, by his first name. <laughs> I should call him the king. <laughs> that, that's so ridiculous. As long as you asked for this lady, don't waste your time. You know, I live in a Oh, my, 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 please. Have a seat. I'll rather oh. stand. What is it? Look, I should get you a drink, something to Osmond, chill. Osmond, spew out the amount, and I'll have my husband write another check for you. You think this is about money? Oh, yes, it is. 
and it has always been. Well, this time around, you are wrong. I know you will not like what I'm about to say, but um, I have decided on it, and that's exactly what I want. You set that man up, and I need you to admit to it. I don't understand what you're talking about. He made an attempt on the king's life. You and I know he didn't deliberately do that. You must have made him a promise and somehow coerced him to doing it, didn't you? Stop! I mean, what's all this? What's all this accusation about? Besides, it's time. Time for what? Time to take out your husband. I mean, that's the reason I'm here, right? Not the chief maid like everyone now believes. Are you drunk? Oh, I wish I was drunk. So, tell me, my love, how do you want me to take out your husband? Strangle him? Shoot him? What? What are you looking at? Discouraging you from eliminating Osmond. I think it deserves to die. Why the change of heart? I mean, why would you say that? Because I just confirmed that he was behind the attempted assassination made by Sabinos. Osmond is going for the kill, and we can't allow him to get away with it. So you're asking me to murder him in front of my children, no, is that it? No, I'm not asking you to murder him in front of your children. I'm only asking you to be ready in case he makes an open confrontation. <laughs> I'm sorry. You sound like I walk around with a revolver or a magnum tied to my waist, all right? What I have is a pop action. I can't be carrying that around the palace. Edward, I'm only asking you to watch your back. There are other ways we can use in silencing him. Okay, so let's think of a way to eliminate him without people looking for him. Okay. How about kidnap? Kidnap? That's against the law. Although, since your life is involved...
What is the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Why is he on my throne and why is have my crown on his head? Am I not talking to human beings? Answer me! Will you shut up? Your time is past, Edwards. And it's now my time to rule my people. How dare you? What is it? God, it's a dream. What's the problem? Thank God it was a dream. A dream? More like a nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? It's Osmond. You tried to kill me. You're right. We have to eliminate him. No disrespect, but what about your brother? Can't we talk to him about this? I mean, he's the best person to handle the situation. No, my brother doesn't deal with these things any longer. He bolted away. But I'll try to persuade him further. There's actually a smart move we can make. What move? But it's gonna get him arrested. Although it would not be linked to us. Do it. We have to explore any options. I mean, Osman has to go. God, my head hurts. Can I cuddle you? Sleep. I just had a nightmare. Okay, fine. Hold on. Are you saying my stepmom is involved in all this? Yes, my princess. The man emphatically told me that he is here because of her. Then I guess my dad doesn't know anything about this. Could his life be in danger? I don't know, my princess. But I spoke to the queen about it and she told me she would handle it. Which I doubt. I'm going to tell my dad about all this and the kind of wife he has. Please do, but my princess, don't involve me. I, I still want to stay in this palace. Don't you think I know that? I'm not involving you. Thanks for the information, by the way, even though it took you a lot of time to tell me. I'm sorry, my princess. I've been trying to tell you about this for quite some time now, but you couldn't give me audience. Thanks. You're welcome, my princess. Sit on my father's throne. Apologies, princess. It's just as I find this seat more comfortable than any other seat here. I'm going to tell my father about this. How dare you sit on my throat? You reduce your voice. I should reduce my voice. Guards! Guards! I already sent them on an errand for the king. You did what? Please sit, let's talk. Sit down, let's talk about how you're going to give me everything that you have, come hell or high waters. Because I am here to take everything that belongs to you, including that very woman you took from me. Else, I'll stop talking. What do you get? Come down. Come down and draw your weapon. Come down and draw your weapon. If you move, if you move, you die. Draw your weapon. Ask your hand. Ask on your head. What say you have them? Yes, sir. Okay, bring them to the vehicle. Move. 
I called you all out here to give you some information about the kingship of this land. Being a king has changed me both positively and negatively. And it seems the latter is more profound than the former. Which is why I'm stepping down as king. Yes. Being a king has distanced me so much from my family. I don't give them the attention they deserve. I seem a lost and a failed father. And I want to correct that. I want my children to be proud of me. I'm proud of where they come from. I'm sorry if this has come as a shock to you. But I need to inform my in-house people before I call the elders of this land so that you can know what's coming. If any of you wants to leave, now is the time to do so. I can't believe Dad said he's resigning. I mean, that's gross. Isn't that what you wanted? You said it's best if he resigns. But not like this. I mean, I didn't want him to resign from being king. That's preposterous. I don't see anything wrong with dad's decision. Everything is wrong with dad's decision. I mean, the man I knew as my father would never abandon his stool of power, which is his responsibility. We are his responsibility, and so are our people. I'm glad we're on the same page, Kara. I mean, I can't imagine not being a princess anymore. It's so unfair. Dad should revisit that decision of his immediately. I'll talk to him. Or I think the Queen is talking to him. Because I don't think she's in support of that decision. What did you do? What? Well, something I should have done the moment that bastard walked into the palace. I've dreamt so many times of killing him, but I just don't want any other blood on my hands. So you're going to vacate your throne? For who? For him or anybody else, I really don't care. I can't believe this is happening. Do you want him to go and tell the truth? He came threatening me to tell the truth if I don't vacate the throne for him. Edward, our people will be so disappointed in you. And you and I know they'll never accept Osmond being on that throne. Well, I'll leave it for them to decide after you and I have left the country with the kids. Alright, I think life will be more peaceful over there than here. So you want us to abandon everything? Edward, you've always dreamt of ruling your people. What do you want me to do? All right, you want him to go and tell the truth and watch him tear your family apart? Is that what you want? Hello? Hello, Martins. Yes? What? Okay, I'll get back to you. What was that? What did he say? He just helped apprehend Osmond's gang. And they're willing to come here and get him arrested. You see, yes. Edward, there's a way out of this. And he's going to be labeled a criminal. We can't run away.
Hello, Martins. How far away are you with the police? Yes, the worst has happened. My husband is about handing over his kinship to that lunatic, and he's about to call for an elders' meeting. Okay, I'm calmed. Okay, I'm calmed. I'm just going to be waiting for you, but make sure you're not here when it's already too late. It's your favorite. Okay, so leave it here and go. My queen, is everything all right? Everything be all right. I'm about to be stripped off my queenship. I don't understand you girls. I thought you three were unhappy with me since I became king. Like, I have been treating you girls right, isn't it? Yes, and we've been complaining about it. We don't want you to resign. Please, Dad, just step down from that throne. Our people still need you. Yeah, but someone else can sit on the throne and still rule. It doesn't have to be me. But it's your right to rule. I mean, it's your turn. And it would be an unfair thing for you to abandon that gracious and enviable position. I don't know what you girls want me to do. It's like being king makes me less of a father to you and an unfaithful husband. I think you're cheating on my mom. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just saying that being king doesn't give her the time she deserves as my wife or the time you three deserve as my kids. Besides, I'm not going to choose power over family. Family means everything to me. We understand you, Dad. But there has to be some way we can fix whatever is broken in your relationship with us instead of stepping down as king. It's unacceptable, Dad. Really unacceptable. I would like to work here forever. Is that your destiny? What do you mean by that? This is enough I, enjoyment. I know. Maybe that's your calling now. Enjoy, enjoy and work here forever. I'm looking for a greener pasture. This is your business. What, 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 what's wrong with you? I'm okay. Hmm. Then I think your face now. I think your face like me. die on the same day. Did you do this? You, you're joking, isn't it? Don't ask me stupid questions. Answer me! For what reason will I snuff out their lives? Hey, you don't shout at the king. I need answers. Your Majesty, we found them both dead while holding fruits in their hands. I think they were actually enjoying the bowl of fruits before they died. Hold on. Did you just say a bowl of fruits? Yes, Your Majesty. Where is Choma? Where is that murderer?
and where do you think you are going? him before I strangle you. Okay. Let her speak. Speak! Why did you want to kill the queen? She did nothing to me. Then why in the name of our gods did you want her dead? I can't believe I trusted you with my kids. What did I ever do to you to deserve this? I have shown you nothing but kindness ever since I came into this palace. Ask the senior maiden. And you decided to take my life as a price? I, I, I don't have any grudges with you, my queen, but with the king. Me? Yes. I've been in this palace as a child. I served under your late father until you took over the throne and was ready to get married. Me, yes, I did. I want to personally thank you for all your efforts in taking care of my father before he died. I really appreciate you greatly. I was only doing my job, my king. But I'm grateful. You're always so humble. That's why I like you. Thank you, my king. Well, my people have asked me to get married, saying that a king cannot rule by himself. And I agree with them. So I'm working towards getting a bride. Wow. That's wonderful. I can't wait for you to... To... To what? Um, I can't wait for you to get your bride, I mean, my king. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not going to be easy. I mean, considering the fact that I'm a very private and shy person. I know you possess the wisdom of your late father. So, I trust you to make the right choice. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, uh, that's not why I called you. I want to help you further your education. And I'd like you to resign here as the chief mate. So I can help you. Who knows? Maybe you can find a young man that will marry you after you're done. So what do you say to that? <laughs> Thank you, my king. I had to kill her. I had to kill her to get back at you. I had to kill her to make you change your mind about me. Oh, my king, you disappointed me. You disappointed me when you went and got yourself another wife. You, you killed my mother. I'm sorry, my princess, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> To think I almost considered marrying you a murderer? What a fool I would have been. You killed her! Yes, I did. I killed her out of anger. I just I just wanted it to look at my face. So, why did it take you this long to make an attempt on my life? Oh, I made several attempts on you. You're just lucky. Not to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. So I gave up. I almost left the palace out of frustration and anger and disappointment. But I decided to stay back. Hoping, just hoping that one day, someday you would 
Just look at me and see how I feel about you. How I so much want to be your wife. But you didn't. You, you came as a distraction. I tried getting rid of you severally, but I couldn't. And then the king said he's stepping down from the throne. I knew if that happens, you'll be of no use to me. I had to try and kill the queen because that's the only thing that will make him change his mind. Oh my God. Shoma, you are evil. You are evil! Hey, what is? Let me strangle her for you. Sorry, my king. Everything, everything I did, my love for you is genuine. Yes. Yes. I don't know what you've done to me. Any idea what you've done? I'm sorry. Just forgive me, my. Got to make sure you spend the rest of your life in jail. Do you hear me? Yes. Oh, please, please, my kid. Get her out please. of my sight. Please. Take her out. Get her out of my sight. Don't get me out. Don't get. I greet you, elders of the Zodo Kingdom. My king will greet you. I greet you. you good. I have summoned you today because I've made a decision. I believe it's my right to do so. It's about my kingship. I will step down as king of the what? kingdom. No. It is not acceptable, my king. It is not done. Eh? It is a sacrilege. You cannot do a thing like that. Hmm? I don't believe you. But let me ask you this. Tell us the truth. What is the matter? What happened? Let's just say I want to devote more time to my family than masters of the throne. Like I said, I believe that I have the right to step down as king whenever I deem fit. Your oh, Highness. That's why I said no. You cannot, Your Highness. This is what we call traditional aberration. It is a sacrilege against the kingdom. <laughs> There's no way a king steps down that way. At where? Remember that you inherited this throne from your late father just because you are his only son. Now, tell me, if you step down like that, as your mind is leading you now, who again in your bloodline will mark the throne? Okay. No one! Or do you want to lose this age long throne? Lose it totally for your family. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I've made my decision. I want to spend more time with my family now. Hey, Your Highness. Mm. You are disappointing me. Even the, yes, you are. Even the entire elders. Ah! You could not even pre inform me about this, your decision? Do you all know of this community? Of this great kingdom? Oh. Oh. Mm. Your Highness, you cannot step down like that. Yes, it is You can't. Happen. Listen, let us make an arrangement for you to continue ruling us from wherever you want to remain with your children. Yes. Please. This is better option. This is better option. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I made my decision. Uh, uh, Your Highness, well, why don't you go ahead and tell them uh, who you have in mind to help you run I things? believe it's the duty of the elders to ask me who I think should succeed. And don't you think so? My king, that we have not decided yet. Your Highness, you can't just resign. You are a king and a king as long as you live. What is happening? What is going on there? Is this a setup or what? Officer, that is the imposter. What? You are under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and kidnapping. <laughs> My boys have your gang members outside the gate, so you have to come with me now. <laughs> Uh, what, is the, what is the meaning of this? It is very simple, Osmond. 
he's trying to tell you that you are not just a kidnapper, <laughs> but an armed robber and a murderer. Mm. Summarily, you're a criminal. <laughs> How many, how many oh, yes. Okay. What is happening in the kingdom? What is happening now? Huh? You did this. And you, this is how you want to play it. No, this is how you want to play it, isn't it? Uh, uh, Osmond, what are you talking about? Osmond, shut up and move. My friend. Move it! What? What are all these dramas about? And that's what you do the kingdom. I want to confess. Osmond. I want to confess! You will confess nothing. You're already under arrest. Take him away. I have something very important that I, I must say. I have no. You must talk. Allow him to No, 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 no. Please. Allow him to say whatever nonsense he has in his mouth. Mm -hmm. He is always talking. Allow him to say. Good. Eh? You cannot shave someone's head in his absence. Say something. Go ahead and tell us all. Thank you. Mm. I want to tell you what these two people, who they truly are, these two people that sit down as the king and queen of this kingdom, especially what they did to me. Osman, you don't have to do this. Of course I have to. I have to tell it. You want some? Drink? You really should stop this drinking and smoking habit of yours. I find it very irritating. And besides, it's very bad for your health. I know. But, um, that's what keeps me going. Do I hope to stop it sometimes in the future? <laughs> By the way, I'll be passing out next week. Passing out? To where? How? Passing out my NYSC. I've completed my first year. Are you serious? Wow, why? How time flies. I, yes. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> this is good. Can't wait to, to follow you to your people and make my intentions formally known to them. Hmm. Intentions? What intentions are you talking about? Intentions of marrying you? Mm. Me. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I know you're joking, right? <laughs> you're joking. Wait, you know, call it whatever you want to call it, but do you actually think that I would want to marry a drunk and a chain smoker like you? <clears throat> you're joking. And if you're not joking, I, I don't like the sound of that, okay? Please stop it. I don't like that. I made myself clear. Leave. You jo Of course she's joking, she... <laughs> now you're she. This is one of those pranks, right? Of course it had to be, right? Did he threaten you or what? Yes, and I'm so scared for my life right now. I need to reach out to my people. What the hell does he even do? Well, he told me he sells tires. But I hate his drinking and smoking so bad. I warned him about it severely, but he just wouldn't listen. And you say he's the one that's been sponsoring your schooling? Mm-hmm. I mean, my parents stopped when I was in my second year at the university and then he's been providing for me ever since but he never told me about his intentions to want to marry me until now but I don't love him I don't love him enough to want to marry okay, him okay, okay. all right just don't worry about it he has to go he's gonna leave you alone okay that's what I told him but instead he decided to threaten to deal with me what are you doing here Is he the one? Is he the reason you have been acting up? Yes, I am. I wasn't talking to you, boy. Yes, you were talking to me. I'm her man and you need to stop threatening her. You don't know me well enough to talk to me, boy. Now, you... First of all, I am not a boy. I am a prince. I'm the future king of the Zoro Kingdom. But I'll help you. 
tell me exactly how much you spent on her and I'll pay you right here and right now. Oh, come on, Edward. It hasn't gotten to that. Yes, it has. He needs to get his money so he can get the hell out of here. You know you cost this. You... You brought this humiliation on me. You! But I will deal with you later. And to remind you, you are mine. Mine you shall remain. <laughs> and for you, boy, I don't have time to banty words with spoiled rich kid like you. But I need to tell you something though. Stay away from my girl. Else, <laughs> I will come after you. It's I that will come after you, hear me? You stay away from her. The next time I see him, I'm going to, going to murder him. You okay? Hmm? ran off. I also left the vicinity. I don't know how she she covered it and they managed the situation without involving the police. But one thing, one thing is for sure, that that experience changed my life. Everything turned bad for me. My business crumbled and I had no means of surviving. But to form a group of an armed robber just to survive. I'm sorry kids. You couldn't have found out the truth if your your parents have kept to our agreement and left the throne for me. And now I didn't come back to just take back my woman. I came to take his throne. Your Highness, is it true what he has said? Hmm? Yes. Huh? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Mm. Everything he said is true. The truth is inevitable. I couldn't finish my NYSC. So I ran back here and reconnected with Rosalind. Mother of Kara. Hey! I'm so sorry. So the story of you doing your NYC with is a lie. Yes. I'm so sorry. I never wanted any of this to happen. I saw I married her. She introduced me to Martin. Who who was trying to kill me for what I'd done to their brother? I apologized to him. He knew it was a mistake. And we agreed to keep it a secret. 
the only other person who knew about this was Osmond. And ever since, he's made my life a living hell. I moved him into this palace so he can keep his mouth shut, but he threatens to speak if I don't relinquish the throne for him. Mm. And now here we are. Tara, Gina, Lucy. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Hey! Great sacrilege. It is now very clear to us and the entire kingdom that the kingdom business is a very serious business. It should not be left in the hands of small boys. It is not clear to us that you have actually desecrated the sacred sanctity of his little kingdom. Huh? So what is why a murderer had been seated on the throne of our kingdom? Abomination. And you, you are queen. We're so sorry. Please forgive us. Please. Is that for us or for the ghost of the land? We're really sorry. Leave her. Let her be sorry for herself. Kids, we're so sorry. Now, move! There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh, 